Hey everybody, I hope you're well. We're back with another episode of Project Onward Artists at Home, live here on Instagram. It's been a few weeks, but um, we've been busy. We had our virtual fundraiser a couple weeks ago, and uh, if you were there, thank you so much for attending and supporting Project Onward. Uh, if you donated or bought a raffle ticket or some art, thank you even more. Um, you know how much we appreciate the continued support. I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll um, be archiving it in, in some way, shape, or form in the not-so-distant future for everyone to enjoy. But um, I hope you had as good a time as I did. But we're back now. Uh, I think these Thursday nights are probably going to be our usual time slot. Everything so up in the air in the world. But uh, one thing you can count on is more quality content from Project Onward including these interviews, because we love to bring them to you, and I hope that you do enjoy watching them. Uh, today, we've got a really exciting interview. We're back with, uh, with one of my favorite artists, the American girl herself, Miss Molly McGrath. And uh, I'm going to check to see if she's online here, and we'll get this thing started. Stand by, everybody. Thanks for your patience. There she is. Hi, Molly. How are you? Good. Can you hear me okay? Yes. I'll yeah. show you first. This is my purple face mask. Jumping right in. That's fantastic. <laughs> now, that's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's Cleo the I, cat. Isn't that right? Black. Mm -hmm. And where can you get that? Threadless. That's right. Taking care of the, you're you're much better at uh, at plugging these things than I am. Thank you, Molly. I appreciate that. That's projectonward.threadless.com. We'll go ahead and get that out of the way now. You can get some awesome swag, including a Cleo the cat face mask. You can get it on a T-shirt, probably a number of other things as well. Alex, Check out. Which, Alex, which month and year did they begin Threadless? Selling on Threadless, or when did Threadless as a company begin? When, when did Threadless as a company begin? I'm not sure. Hey, if anyone at Threadless is watching, why don't you chime in in the comments and let us know? <laughs> Maybe we can uh, we can talk to a rep from Th Threadless and get a little more history behind the company. But um, Project Onward has a lot of cool stuff on there. The Project Onward uh, store at projectonward.org also has some amazing art, including a bunch of Molly McGrath stuff that just went up today. Uh, so definitely check that out. Molly, will you introduce um, uh, the person sitting next to you here? Can you tell us who's joining you today? Robin. Robin Jablonski, the uh, st studio manager uh, at Project Onward. Uh, oh, Whitney. is, Whitney's behind the camera. Uh, they're both here helping out today, and we do appreciate it very much, of course. How's it feel being... How's, Molly, how does it feel being back in the studio? I know you haven't been able to go much lately. Do you like being there right now? Yeah. Yeah? Is it exciting? Us! <laughs> All right. I like the enthusiasm. Being back here. Uh, a lot. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, hey, Molly, quick side note. Uh, hey, Birdbrain just chimed in in the comments and says that Threadless was founded in 2000. So someone went and Googled that for us, I think. That was very nice. What year was it? 2007. The year, the year 2000. 2000. The year 2000. Mm -hmm. Oh, 2000. Yeah, it's been around for a while. It's probably evolved a lot since then. But <laughs> well, over the years, the art studio Project Downward has been here at the 78 East Washington. Mm -hmm. That's where we began, right? Yes. We began at the Cultural Center uh, downtown in the Loop. Now, yes. Molly, were you with Project Onward <laughs> when they were at the Cultural Center? Well, yes. Yes, you were? How... And, and the best part I like was the lower was the first floor. Really? Yeah, we had two floors. We were on the first and the second floor in the cultural center. We had two parts to our studio. And, and up the stairs and taking the elevator. Right. Good memories, right? Yes. That's pretty exciting. Now I know Molly, you're a real city girl. You were born and raised here in Chicago. You've lived in uh, the South Loop for most of your life, isn't that right? Yes. 
Yeah. And how do you how do you like it there? Do you really enjoy being in the city and being around all the buildings and and the people and all the excitement? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, we, I used to work in the South Loop. I really like that area a lot. For, for those of you who may not live in Chicago and are unfamiliar with that part of town, it, it is downtown, but it's kind of it, it's kind of a nice community vibe. What was that, Molly? You know who that is? It's Alex. That's I'm Alex. Alex. I'm Whitney's husband. Yes. Remember? Yeah. yeah. So you went. You were at our wedding. Cheers. Okay. Well, let's let Alex ask you some questions first, yes. and then we'll go into your pictures. Yes. Molly, do you remember going to our wedding? My mom. Yes. In Evansville, Indiana. That's right. That's right. That was a lot of fun. I. In in nineteen, and in 1994. And another story, and another, when my mom and me moved into a black and, into the black and white house mm -hmm. right. in, in 1994. Right, right. That's when she moved from. Uh, when I was 11 and a half years old. South Loop. When I, I was see. 11 and a half years old, before I turned 12 years old. Uh-huh. So, Molly, tell me about some of the things you. Well, you... Cool. You and your well, mom, you and your mom do a lot. Uh, you go to operas, you go to plays, you go to to the theater. Um, you enjoy artwork so much. Uh, to, well, what are, yeah. So, what are what are some of your favorite things to do in the city? Walk around the block. Uh huh. What else did you do when you walked around the block? Remember, you told me about your job. Uh, I delivered all the Chicago journals. I read that, yeah. In one to two thousand and twelve. That's pretty exciting. Did you did you get to see new parts of the city when you were delivering the journals? Yes. Yeah, that's so and cool. My boyfriend is Stephen. Uh huh. Moore, he had his job doing the paper with you. Doing the papers with me. Yeah. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. To a, a part. It, before he and his family moved into a new apartment. Cool. Well, Molly, let's go back even further. I want to know about uh, your early artwork and what got you interested in making art in the first place? Uh, just sewed bottles. Mm -hmm. What do you do with bottles? Paint, hand paint them with paintbrush. What do you put on them? And did you start doing that when you were very young, Molly? How old were you when you started making art? I was in my twenties. Uh, what do you put in those bottles? And here's another example. So kind of work. Uh, Sesame Street art. Can I hold it for you? Oh, that's fantastic. The Twiddlebug family. These are the Twiddlebugs, huh? So they're from Sesame Street. In, in Sesame Street, thirty-seventh season. Wow. Who are those? What are their names? Tessie, Thomas, Tina, and Timmy. That's so you? great. What year? 2000, 2010. Uh-huh. Now, I know that you're a huge Sesame Street fan. 37th season. So that's another good thing to know is that Molly knows every single episode of Sesame Street. She has Amazing. them all. Amazing. So what about Sesame Street season? Uh huh. So what, what would you say is your favorite season of Sesame Street? What was the best? Nine. Season nine, huh? What and why? Why was season nine so great? Uh, flying to Hawaii. Ooh. Ooh. And now, Molly, have you ever been to Hawaii? No. No. Would you like to go someday? No, I will ever went behind the scenes. <laughs> now, speaking of Hawaii, that's a good segue into another one of your favorite things and something that inspires a lot of your artwork, and that's the American Girl doll series, including Hawaiian Girl, which is one that just went up on the store today. Well, I think that Look one, that. isn't that old? The Hawaii, the... Mm -hmm. No, it's here. It's here? I think I saw it when I was looking through the artwork in the store. I could be mistaken, but there's a lot of really great examples. What are, what are we looking at here, Molly? The flowers can be shaped like lemon slices. That's so excellent. This is actually from our um, 
repeat, repeat, repeat show, and it yeah. went along with the pattern that she had done. Um, and it's also, right now, it's in another virtual show with uh, Make Studio in Baltimore. Fantastic. Uh, Molly, I've got a question here in the comments from Erin. She wants to know, who's your favorite Sesame Street character? No, 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 enough. Enough? <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe we can get back to that. Let's move on to American Girl, because I really have been... Oh, Nanya. That's fantastic. I've wanted to talk to you about this. Nanya is wearing her black outfit. Uh-huh. And find a snow cone and choosing the flavor of color orange. I see. That's fantastic. Now, what is her... What's her backstory? I know that all of them have very elaborate backstories. 1941, Her year is 1941. Uh-huh. She pays good money for snow cones. I'm sure they're, I'm sure they're very good snow cones. <laughs> you don't want to skimp on the snow cones. Maybe extra syrup for a little extra money. Snow cones. Crushed ice. Yeah, yeah. I love a good snow cone. Um, I know one of the, one of the characters that appear a lot in your artwork inspired by American Girls are, is, is Manook. Can you tell me about Manook? Because I really love, I really love the work that she appears in. Ask them, look, a dream show. Wow. Tell us about this, dude. Uh, Manook is dreaming of animals in Alaska. Mm -hmm. First, there was moose, caribou. Be beaver, bear and beaver. She's friends with all the animals, isn't she? Yes. That's so great. And now she's a she's a Native American, right, or an indigenous person? No, is that right? American Alaskan. Alaskan. Got it. Okay, that's he's fantastic. A, he's a girl he's of the many lands. Uh huh. The peak. I see. I see. That's wonderful. Who are some of your favorite? One of the girls from of the many lands. Uh huh. If the girl is a from many land is by American girl. Yeah, so we show her the other show the other Manuk that you did. Yes. This Please is a more great... more Manuk. I can't get enough. Alex, Molly, Molly, Molly. Yes. Tell who your favorite Sesame Street character is. The Twiddlebugs. Right, the Twiddlebugs. Me. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Okay, how long did this Now, this take? is a Manuk doll that you made, isn't that right? Can you hold that up a little closer? Good. Look at that. You made this doll, and you made all of the accessories. I actually gave me a blank plush doll. Elaine, one of our volunteers in Texas. Wow, amazing. She sent these dolls uh -huh. and, um, that she made. She handmade them, and then Molly painted the doll and put the face on. I see hair on and sewed all the clothes. Wow. All by and what else goes with her? What are these? Uh, Should we put them on? The mittens? mittens? The accessories are a very important part of the American Girl experience. Isn't that right, Molly? Uh, Molly, you made, you made your... Accessories? Does she need all of these things? Yes. <laughs> Molly, I read somewhere that you made a fiber sculpture of Manuk. Is that true? <laughs> gotta get her gotta get her camera ready here. <laughs> there we go. If, you're, if for those of you watching, if you're at all familiar with Molly's work, you've definitely seen the American Girl stuff before. Wow. Wonderful. Um, and no, the, the Twitter family. Of course, and the, and, and the Twitter bugs. But the, uh, I, I've seen some I of your work that focuses. Alex, I already said it. Of course. <laughs> so, okay. We're talking about, are we going to continue to talk about American Girl, right? Yeah. I would love to talk a little bit more about American Girl, if, if that's okay with you, Molly. I want to talk about the accessories, because you've done some pieces where it's just the accessories, including, let me pull this up here. Well, you've got, you've got a lot of the accessories featured in the work with the American Girls, but then you've also got one with just the cowboy hat that I really love. And uh, another one that I'm looking at here. Oh, there it is. That's wonderful. See the orange star? Uh-huh. Is this an accessory that's actually available? 
No. You did... For humans. Ah, uh, okay, wonderful. So this I... piece was from a show that we did um, called Outsider Connections. And Molly loves to focus on the object. Mm -hmm. And there's an artist out there named Holly Farrell, who's an outsider artist. And she also concentrates on the, uh, the beauty of the object. And I feel like I there's the two of them. And so Molly, you know, she really observes an object and... Uh, you mean the coffee mugs, the mugs? Yeah. Right, you did another one with coffee mugs too. So That's yeah, fantastic. They I do, I see one here with Manuk and a coffee mug with some smiley faces on it. That's on, you can uh, see that one on Instagram. Uh, if you just search, it's on the Project Genre Instagram, hashtag Molly McGrath Art will display a bunch of her amazing pieces with all of these really wonderful accessories. Around her, her ne neck. And the interesting thing about uh, Manuk is I actually took her with the me jewelry to the, New York the last year because the bees, Molly the couldn't jewelry. come this time. So oh, I there brought you go. with me, kind of like Flat Stanley. Yeah. Oh, that's so great. I love so, it. So Manuk got to have Ray's pizza and go on the plane and go to different <laughs> places. Well, speaking of New York, tell, can you tell me a little bit more about your experience in New York, Molly? Because I know you were featured at the Outsider Art Fair there last year. That must have been really exciting. What do we have here? The, the Grecian princess riding on Pegasus, the winged horse. Fantastic. A little bit closer. Oh. You want to do it? Okay. What, uh, what did you draw that on? What, what's the... What material did you use? Colored That's pencil. really cool. So you use colored pencil. Uh, you you it with the pen. Uh huh. Combination of pen and colored pencil. It's really amazing. Why did you make this? As a what? Is a sketch for what? Why did I make it for uh, for a sketch? Yeah. Why? Because I wanted to draw. Cut it out to like a circle. That you were going to paint? What did you paint it on? Uh, pad distill. Pad uh -huh. distill. That's wonderful. So, Molly All has. Right. Well, blue the lines of Forest Park. Uh huh. So, Molly has two public works of art in Greektown. One of them was their pedestal project, it's a fiberglass sculpture of um, like a Grecian disc on a pedestal. Wow. And also, they did these large, uh, they're like four foot fish mm -hmm. and five feet. five feet fish. And uh, Molly decided she mm -hmm. wanted to do who on there, on the fish? What did Smokey do? the salmon. Smokey the salmon. So uh -huh. you're a pink. He's salmon pink. Right. Excellent. And he swims in and out, swims under the, o the big blue ocean. Wow, that's amazing. And, and this is on display in Greek town. You've got how that must be so exciting for you, Molly, to have your work displayed in this big, exciting city that you love so much. This is your Vader Ginsburg. The Amazing. Supreme Court Justice. That's so great. Judge of the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. Recently passed, but that's such a nice way to honor her memory. I love it. The colors are so amazing in all of your work, especially my, my picture taken. At the Spurtis Museum at 618 South Michigan. With her? Uh -huh. yes. Yeah, so she got, actually got For to the meet the Records. Records. Oh, yeah, that's her oh wow. Her. That must have been exciting. Yes, yeah, so explain how you met her. How did, you uh, did her? I uh, upstairs mm -hmm. uh -huh. for the reception? Right, for who? Like you said, Sadil Records. Right, Sadil Records. And that, that's her song. Yes. Before she died. Mm -hmm. right. Years ago, right? Years ago. Wow. That's, That's so cool. Well, Molly, Molly, I love, I love how much color is in your work. And I love the attention to all of the, the details of the fashion. I know you love fashion. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that, how that has influenced your art? Tell me about your love for fashion and accessories. I, I looked up uh, material lace. Mm -hmm. 
Root Larvie G's black head gown. There's a nice uh, pattern. Come judge the mm-hmm. for the uh-huh. Supreme Court. Do you like patterns? Yes. It's an L E Y L A in Turkey from uh-huh. one of the many lands. That's wonderful. So, Molly, I. Tulip. And this is the black tulip garden. That's wonderful. I just noticed that one online earlier and that it really stood out. That's one of my favorites, definitely. I, I did a little research on American Girl before interviewing you today, Molly, because I wanted to, I, I didn't really, I wasn't familiar with that world and it's pretty amazing. And I want to know, I know that fans of American Girl have a lot of dolls themselves and I, themselves, and I want to know how many American Girl dolls you have. I collected them. Do American. you know, do you know how many you have? What was uh, that? There's 33. Amazing. 30, 49. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to keep track, huh? <laughs> Are you including the girls from many lands, too? Uh, I already did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, she has the mini ones, too. That's why she's saying so many now. And, and oh. what about the mini dolls fits for your AG doll? Mm-hmm. So your dolls have dolls? Yeah. <laughs> Uh huh. Fantastic. Now I'm sure you've been to the American Girl store here in Chicago. Did you go visit the store in New York as well? No. No. Oh well. Tell me more about going to New York. How? Oh, tell them oh. about tell them about the museum when we went to the museum. We, we went to the uh, the Guggenheim. Uh huh. Yeah. The the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And I begin to see the Egyptian exhibit. And how long have you been wanting to see that? For many years, for a very busy long time. Yeah, that's so great. I love, I love that's another thing that's really uh, apparent in your artwork is your love of different cultures and getting to know all of these stories about where people came from and what their lives are like. Uh, that, that must be so exciting to get to explore these different cultures. Do you, do you think that that, that influences... <laughs> What was that, Molly? That's it. Keep going. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. I just uh, t- tell me about some more of the cultures that you that you like to feature in your artwork. Uh, we've talked about interview in New York. Yeah, mm-hmm. she did. she was interviewed in New York by another gallery in January two thousand and nineteen. Mm-hmm. Actually, uh, Summertime Galleries, uh, one of their uh, directors, Sophia, Sophia Cosmata. Cosmata. Uh-huh. And, and on- the way back to the airport, we stopped at the Windy City Bakery to pick up a sweet yeah, for, Je- for, for Jessica. Fantastic. No, I'll show it. Please. Yeah, that's wonderful. You know, she's wearing her favorite dress. And this is doll, this is doll with mug, which is currently mug. available at projectonward.org. I should, I should point I out. <laughs> Yeah, and I and I forward a collection of mugs. Can I also tell them how you yourself can become a your own doll? Ollie can also mm. change you into your own doll. Look at that. A little bit longer hair. That's spectacular. Just like the just like me dolls, right? Yes. Uh huh. I see another one of my favorite examples right behind you there, Molly. You've got you did Whitney, and. And she definitely took on an, an American girl quality as well. <laughs> Look at her, that. Her hair purple? <laughs> I think yeah. her, her hair was purple at the time. Yes, it changes color pretty frequently. <laughs> and that's what's so that? And oh, that's amazing. That? Is that a, a totem pole? Native American. Wonderful. The eagle. The beaver. Uh-huh. No, the bear. The beaver, the buffalo, the deer, and the Native American man. Now, Molly, this brings me to another really great topic that I want to ask you about, because you're clearly very interested in Native culture uh, in North America. And I know you're a huge fan of Buffy St. Marie, the folk singer who was very popular in the, in the 60s and 70s. Tell me about... Tell me about Buffy St. Marie and how much you enjoy her music and, and just folk music in general. I watched, I watched her in multimedia uh, and the documentary. Uh-huh. And she was in an episode of Sesame Street, wasn't she? 
between 1975 to 1981. Wow, that's so cool. There's she many was... versions of this album too. Sure. Oh, that's great. And she is, she's from Canada, isn't that right? She's a Korean Indian. Uh huh. But so, is uh, is descended from from native people, indigenous people, and in addition to being a great singer, it was also a, a um, did a lot of amazing uh, activism for native people throughout yes. her career. So this is another important point about Molly's work. Mm -hmm. It's very repetitive. She, if she likes something, she'll do it again and again and again. Uh huh. So in different colors. Wow. Back. Yes. What else do you want to talk about? Mm. Maybe Alex has some more questions for you, Molly. Yeah. We'll Molly. Back. Yes. Molly. I think, wait, let Alex yes. ask you some questions. Yes. Okay, but well, let him ask you some questions. <laughs> well, so, so Molly, I, I do want to know what it's been like for you making art lately because you haven't been able to go to the studio. Is, does it feel different working on, on art at home? Well, I'm sorry, what was that? I stayed home because of the coronavirus. Of course, yeah, I know we've all had to lately. Uh, do you, are you still inspired to work though? Do you, still, do you feel like you still make just as much art as you did when you were at the studio? I begin working on Another plush, blank plush doll, Saba uh -huh. in from The Girls of Many Lands by American Girl. That's wonderful. In 2002, 2003, and 2004, and like retired in 2005. Where, where do you like to work in your house? On the staircase. Really? That's interesting. Why do you like to work on the stairs? Because I look up every i look up each item on my ipad mm -hmm. are we good over there yes i think that's why i think the light it's is molly nice. the border calling oh fantastic her ball wow. and the soccer ball she puts it into her mouth and picks it up and picks it up and it puts it into her mouth now molly how how long does it how long does it usually take you to finish a piece like this before the show. How, how long do you think it took you to, to make that Molly the Border Collie piece? Few. Few weeks. Few weeks? Background is green, uh -huh. orange. No, no, the background is aqua, green, orange, and yellow. You've always got such beautiful, vibrant colors in the background. I really love that. You yeah, thanks. Yeah, of course, of course, you're welcome. Thank you. Can Alex ask you some more questions before we show more work? Yeah, yeah definitely. I want to see some more. But um, Molly, I wonder what sort of advice you have for other artists who are working right now and who maybe uh, don't have such a comfortable place to work at home. What would you tell them? Uh, my boyfriend, David Blaisdell, uh -huh. I was ha having trouble walking. So she's oh. talking about another artist at Project Onward, and he's... Um, you know, working from a um, facility right now where, because he's got some physical issues and it's rough to work there probably because they don't have that much space. So what would you yeah. tell them they have a lot of space? Uh, he had to stay home for a few days, weeks and months and years. Yeah, for his health, right? For his health. Yeah, but he still yeah. makes space. Yes. So what do you think? You think keep making it no matter what? Keep trying? Yes. Yeah. Just find inspiration, whatever it is, if it's, uh, you know, American Girl or Sesame Street or... Washington. But where are we now? We're not at the Portland Center now. Where are we now? The Bridgeport Arts Center. On the Bridgeport Arts Center, that's right. So Molly was uh, in the transition with us. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I drew and colored five Welly Wishers wearing their yellow rain coats and hats on rainy days. Now, Molly, do you miss being around the other artists at the studio? Hmm. Do you miss your other friends in the studio? Yes. Yeah. Do you usually like to talk to them and kind of, um, kind of offer them advice and, and, and get tips from them when you're working on your artwork? No. No? <laughs> Just kind of like to focus on your own thing and do I it. I focus on her artwork. Yeah. She's track mine. It's what Molly's doing. Yeah. 
not influenced by anyone else around her too much. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm glad you're still able to get in that zone and still make such amazing artwork, even when you're at home. Well done, yeah. Molly. Yeah. Well, Molly, uh, th those are about all the questions that I, that I have for you, but uh, I want to turn it over to our viewers now to see if they have any questions they'd like to ask. Um, <laughs> so Wh Whitney actually wants to know, who do you miss most from the studio? And follow-up question, is it Michelle? Michelle goes here to all on Fridays. Uh huh. Sir? Yes. What do you miss about her? Oh. Here, this is. Would you like to show her portrait? Uh, I I drew and colored her a picture of as a portrait of, as as a portrait of Michelle. Uh huh. At the market on Nineteenth in Michigan. Wonderful. Well, now, if, if you like. Has Portraits that uh, um, I think that there's a reason. I think she likes her long red hair. Yeah. Do you like her because of her long red yes. hair? Michelle is also very good at accessorizing, that's for yeah, sure. Michelle was, likes finding a new man who looks so much younger. <laughs> What's she now? Uh, so who else, who else do you have behind you? Who's that right there, Molly? It's Franz, former volunteer and still very, very beloved member of the extended Project Onward family. That's wonderful. That's so great that you that you kind of transform everyone into their own kind of American doll, which brings up a great point, And that is that all of the artists, including Molly, are available for commissions. So if you portrait. want to see, uh, yes, commission a portrait. Um, a as portrait. you can see, well. pets people. Molly does it all. She's so good at it. Who do we have here? Saba wearing her. Give it to me so you can talk. So no, give it to me. Uh, Saba wearing her <laughs> matching scarf around her head. Uh-huh. Her matching shawl around her head. That's lovely. Isn't no, it? here's Saba wearing her matching shawl around her head. Mm-hmm. Looks dollar. wonderful. Yes. Tell me so anything about her. She's making a real plush doll. And you mean an African and Ethiopian? Mm hmm That's well done. Very well done. Here is 1846. Molly, I'd love to know about your accessories. You always have such wonderful hats on. Can you tell me about your hats? What are you wearing? What are you wearing today? It looks like a beret you have on today. My navy blue wool beret. Wonderful. <laughs> Do you have she a favorite? In ev almost every different color, too. Yeah. Do you have a favorite accessory that you like to wear, Molly? Is there a favorite hat or a favorite pair of glasses or, or something that you enjoy to wear? I like them all. Is this Excellent. your favorite accessory right now, your mask? Yes. The masks are just another great opportunity to accessorize, that's for sure. You can show your bag as well. No, her bag. You want to show it? I'll give, nice it I'll give it back to her. There's Cleo the cat again. So you can nice get tote bag. accessory with Cleo the black cat on uh, and another and another sign. Excellent. That looks wonderful. Wow, I really love it. Whitney Here pointed out, Whitney pointed out that you have an orange cowboy hat. Is that true? Yes. You yeah. do? Wear that sometimes. Usually I in think the I've seen that one before, yeah. That's a good summer accessory. <laughs> Sometimes we get to see her in her uh, white socks hat, too. Yes. The green white socks hat. Yes. Because you're what? Irish. That's right. Oh, I see. And are you a white sock? Part of Jewish. Half are you, Jewish? Uh -huh. Irish? Half Irish, part of Jewish. I see. Both very rich cultural backgrounds there as well. That's fantastic. So, Molly, I... I I mentioned earlier I did some research on American Girl before interviewing you today, and I happened upon the American Girl YouTube channel. Have you ever watched any of that? No. It's pretty amazing. There are music I videos looked, and movies. <laughs> I looked up Create Your Own on Google. Uh huh. I know that you that you're really again you're very interested in the back. 2017. Remember? Absolutely. To show you, Molly. Now I have something to show you. Well, now I know. I know you love the backstories, and I, I know that you come up with your own sometimes, too. You're, you're more than just an artist. You're a writer as well, and you come up with these really great stories. What's, what's that like for you? How do you come up with these? Uh, 
the stories of the of the people in your artwork how what inspires you to come up with those the narrative of the show uh-huh so you you did oh so i left the two writings in my drawer uh-huh where did i just the two writings we'll talk about it later do you enjoy writing though do you enjoy coming up with these stories for all of the characters in your artwork yes yeah that's so great i mean it really shows they've got so much personality it's really wonderful. Well, she wants the dog on top of so. Oh, great. <laughs> well, Molly, that's... The aspect of her stuff is like how she color blocks everything. And it's uh -huh. really... Yeah. Um, I think she'll look very... Oh, where's the man with Nelly? Oh, you want yeah, to please. Do you, do you have more you'd like to show us? We'd love to see it. Ah, uh, yes, I saw this one on the store earlier, too. This is wonderful. Uh, Alex, I saw, Samantha, I saw Samantha and Janelle on the cover of the CBA record. Uh-huh. Now, right? this is Winter Friends, right? Isn't that the name of this piece? Yes. I love it. And where are they from? Where are these two, two girls from? The year 1904. Uh-huh. What country are they from? Or what's their, their, uh, their background? I don't know. Samantha Frickington is Dutch, and her friend Nellie O'Malley is Irish. Wow. Are they playing out in the snow together? Yes. They're walking in a winter wonderland. Wonderful. That's definitely a good, even though it was, you know, 70 degrees today, that'll still be a, a very good piece for this winter. <laughs> Molly, um, Aaron wants to know here in the comments if you've ever made a book. Have you made a book or do you have any interest in maybe writing a book someday? No. No? Uh, someone ordered a blank notebook, color purple with Cleo the Black Cat. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you can get your own journal with Cleo the Black Cat on it and then maybe write your own book. <laughs> you can Dear write viewers. About mm -hmm. I love right? it. And Molly, you also used to have a cat, right? It was, what was your cat's name? Monty. Monty. What kind oh. of cat was he? Uh, spotted. Spotted? What color spots did he have? Gray and white. White Fantastic. with gray spots. Oh, Monty sounds like he was a very pretty kitty. And you had another kitty? What was the other kitty's name? Kitty. Kitty. And what did Kitty look like? Gray, light gray tabby with white paws. Would you like to have a, another cat someday? Or another pet? A new, no, another cat, a new cat. It is way too soon to be getting a new cat mm -hmm. because of, I'm cleaning up the mess downstairs in the well, family room. It's a big responsibility, that's for you sure. I'll go through someday. all the reading stuff. Someday, uh -huh. we'll maybe you'll get another one someday. But you like to draw a lot of cats in the meantime, just like a lot of the other Project Island artists. Yeah. And dogs too. We love our pets here, right? Yeah. That's for yeah. sure. And Molly's board calling to Alex. That's what it's important is. to mention that uh, there are a lot of really exciting events coming up, both in studio and online with Project Onward. But the next big Third Friday show is going to be a fun one. We're calling it Best in Show. And for all you dog lovers out there, you're not going to want to miss this one. There will be more details coming up soon. So keep a close eye on um, Project Onward social media and at projectonward.org. But uh, it's going to be a real fun one, especially if you're a pet lover. Molly, are you excited about, about the dog show? Yes. Yeah, that's going to be a good one. Uh, well, I'm available to do dog portraits. Yeah. Um, I did do dog portraits. Yeah. Of course. Tell it, Molly, can you tell us about what your experience is like at the portrait slams? Do you enjoy doing those and meeting people and drawing their portrait? Remember at Intuit when you did portraits in Google? Do you like that? Yeah. There were so many people coming by. Uh -huh. Great. We had a lot of customers. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? And I'm sure they all love the work that you do. Our favorite place was Google. My favorite place was Google. Uh-huh. G-O-O-G-L-E. Why? Because it's uh, 
a so big. Yeah, that's cool. I've never been there before, but I'm sure that was really pictures. Quite yeah, an experience. And I enjoyed dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had a we had an exhibition at Google last year, and there was the food court, and we did a portrait slam. So the people who worked at Google got to get their portrait done. And we got, they gave us dinner and we hung out with them. And nice the food night. court was. Uh huh. Yeah. Fourth <laughs> third going up. Going yeah, up. So. Well, uh, we've got another comment here from Hey Birdbrain wants to know if you'll be drawing the Black Magic Madge. I hope so. That's our, that's, that's our dog, of course. And I want to commission you for one, definitely. Madgy, I don't know if you've met Madge. Maybe I can get her to come over here and say hi. Maggie, oh. she's resting. We just got back from a long walk. <laughs> uh, Tori Tracy wants to know if there will be more portrait slams in the future. Yes, absolutely. It's hard to say when exactly, uh, but when uh, it seems safe to do so, I imagine that'll be at the top of the list of, of things to, to do. There was cutting and sewing. Where was there cutting and sewing? That's my desk. Oh, yeah. Molly, that's a good point. Molly also loves to... Cut uh -huh. her artwork. Some of her pieces are collaged, and then she also likes to sew. So she's a mixed media artist as well. Yeah, she loves anything tactile, and um, that's why we thought the doll was so nice for her. And she actually worked on it for eleven months. Oh, amazing! Yeah, well, the it was time well spent. And, so cool. And when I was giving out a batch of candy to the kids going the trick-or-treating uh -huh. uh, wearing their costumes and going while going trick-or-treating did you the block you wore your mask yes but did you dress up for halloween i was a black hat oh fun <laughs> what were you the other day too when we had our group meeting a hippie she was a hippie <laughs> That's really great. Well, that, that reminds me, Molly, I do want to ask you more about your love of folk music because I always love to talk to the artists about folk music. And I know you're a big fan of um, the, uh, the Folk Hour on NPR. You really like to listen to that show, don't you? Yeah. So. Saturday night. Uh-huh. Yeah, I enjoy that too. That's such a, that's so great. Um, do, Followed by the Midnight Special. Uh-huh. Molly, do you usually like to listen to music when you're making your art? Yes. Yeah? And what will you listen to mostly when you're working on art? Folk. Oh. Folk, excellent. Who are some, other than Buffy St. Marie, who are some of your other favorite singers? The Weavers. The Weavers, excellent. The what a, Ronnie Gilbert. Uh-huh. How about uh, Melanie? I really love Melanie. Oh. No, I think you'd like her a lot. <laughs> um, Peter, Paul, and Mary, they did the Puff the Magic Dragon song, if I'm not mistaken. Someone might have to Google that for me. <laughs> what about, what about um, Carol King? No I, already, no, I already played Carol King. You know what another great song is? That's the Sesame Street theme. No, 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 enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. We've moved on from Sesame Street. <laughs> enough, enough already. Enough of course. Of, enough of Sesame Street. Okay. No, no problem. Just thirty-seven seasons or whatever is long is long enough. We don't need to talk about it. How about Johnny Mitchell? Yeah. We please put the job there. Sure. <laughs> Say goodbye. 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 Oh well. Goodbye to the doll. Anyway. We'll wrap things up here soon, though, Molly. But, but before I let you go, I do want to know if you just have anything else that you'd like to say to the people watching at home right now. No. No? Okay. <laughs> My friend is from Project Downward who had to wear their face masks mm -hmm. to prevent the coronavirus so the germ won't get into their mouths and the noses. Yeah, that's very important. It's very important. Well, and do they, do, I realize, do they realize that the sunlight can kill the coronavirus? Oh, well, I, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of theories out there. We'll see what the scientists and doctors have to say. <laughs> for a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully a vaccine's on its way, and then, then we'll really oh, start I, to I see. Oh, I voted for Donald Trump. <laughs> I, <laughs> I left Shinzei. 
I see. Well, it's good to be civically engaged, Molly. What movie I, I applaud you for that. I don't know. What what movie was he in when he was younger? Full out your begins with H. Home. Is it? Home. 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 By yourself. Home alone. Tomb. That's it. Home alone part two. Lost in New York. That's right. A classic. Of course. I, I wasn't going to bring it up, but... Uh, <laughs> no. He did appear in Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Uh, but I got to tell you, Molly, that's as good as any other reason I've heard. Today. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. You know he did. <laughs> hey, let's move on to something else. Anyone else have any questions? Yeah. Uh, Whitney wants to know what your favorite food and your favorite restaurant is. Molly, do you have a favorite restaurant? Uh, my mom and uh, my mom and me didn't go to Five Guys. Five Guys and mm. a Chipotle across near our house. Yeah, on Eleventh and Wabash near our house. And you did a she did a drawing of Five Guys, the outside of the restaurant uh -huh. and near well, my house. Near my house on Eleventh. You mean on Eleventh and Wabash near okay. my house? Yeah, and I so. stopped. Molly's cupcakes. There's ah. a it's real close to her right now. Oh, that's right. I've driven by there before, but I've never had their cupcakes. Are they pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. What else? Stan's donuts. Stan's donuts. You like sweets, huh? And uh, Target on Bruce <laughs> Coach and Clark. Sure. And uh, and the Whole Foods and Whole Foods on Roosevelt and Canal. And Trader Joe's. Is Trader Joe's your favorite place? Yeah, she always goes to Trader Joe's. They got good stuff there, that's for sure. Well, Molly, this might be the most important question of the interview, but if you had to choose a burrito from Chipotle or a burger from Five Guys, which or a hot to dog or a taco, <laughs> Ooh, or that. chips and queso. Yeah, so what's your favorite? Really? Favorite. Well, what would you choose then? Out of all of or a burrito things. bowl. Uh huh. Which one would you choose? I don't know. That was hard to decide. It ah. is. You're right. It is hard to decide. <laughs> Just a little bit of everything. That's usually my. Molly actually got my to approach. see. You know, this summer mm -hmm. she did a lot of her favorite places, um, boarded up. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. You got to see them. And, and on short. senior citizens, and every year on a senior citizen dip. And every year, my mom and me shop at Walgreens on Senior Citizen Day. Mm. I see. And what, what makes Senior Citizen Day so special at Walgreens? Is on this something, is this something they do every year? Or is this, this, this is a, something they do during the coronavirus? Only. Only at Oh, I, interesting. Me. I didn't know that. Well, that sounds nice. Sent off. She's, uh, she's marketing for Walgreens over here. <laughs> They're a fine company. <laughs> and I go to the P and Wax Center to, uh -huh. to so uh, so she can do my upper lip <laughs> and chin. <Nice. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing all of these helpful tips, um, Molly. That that's all the questions that I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining Hi, us. Yeah. Thank well, you, Molly. And thank you for sharing all of your amazing artwork. It's really, it's so good. I can't wait to see more. What do you say, Mal? Gee, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. And Robin, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you, Whitney, for being behind the camera. Molly, is your mom, is your mom in there today too? Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. she's right there. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, Bonnie, Hi. for helping out. Um, everybody. <clears throat> yes. What was that? Yes. Helen. Alex. Yes, Molly. Married to Whitney. That's right, I am. Whitney. I'm married to Whitney, it's true. My mom and and Ra me, my mom and I, you and Emily and the others stayed at a hotel in Evansville. Right, we yeah. Had a yeah, that was so nice. I really, really appreciate you being there, Molly, and I hope you had fun. That was already over a year ago, can you believe it? Yes. It yeah. was a Fall of 2019. That's right. That's right. 
Such a great time. Well, I appreciate you being there and I appreciate you being here with us today. I want to remind everyone to go to uh, projectonward.org because you can buy some of Molly's work on the store, um, including some of these amazing pieces displayed here. Uh, the She's threadless a girl dressed in blue. <laughs> Projectonward.threadless.com. You can get all the cool swag and accessories because if you're a true American girl, you got to have those accessories. Um, and I do want to remind everyone to keep an eye out for uh, more information about the next Third Friday show. And uh, we're, there, there are going to be some special in-studio of events as well. Robin, would you mind telling us a little bit more about the event coming up in studio? Uh, yeah, actually, it's going to be in the Bridgeport Art Center on the mm -hmm. third floor. Um, I believe it runs from, I, I can't remember the exact dates, but I think it's November the 20th, the 20th to December maybe 10th, if I'm correct. And what it's going to be is uh, a kind of a uh, like a grouping of Project Onward artwork, just it's going to be called Life's Rich Tapestry, kind of taking the negative and the positive aspects of what's going on and all the different things that go into uh, our artists making artwork through time. Awesome. Really looking forward to that. Uh, more information about that will be coming up soon, of course, too. So, so if you're not already, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Uh, and visit projectonward.org regularly for all the latest news. Uh, Molly, thank you again. Do you have any parting words? No. All right. <laughs> no. That's okay. Advice. This was a, I hope you had fun. This was a really fun interview. Did you do that doll, Tammy, Molly. dressed as a cowgirl for the Western show? Say goodbye to Alex. Bye, Alex. Bye, Molly. And bye, everybody watching. We'll see you again soon with another exciting interview. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Molly. You're welcome. <laughs> Goodbye. You're welcome.